Everybody in Walt Hill, Nebraska is talking about what's happening at Light of the World Gospel Ministries. In the course of a week, we could have up to 200 people going through this building. We have 40 children that will come here every Wednesday night. We have between 100 and 130 coming every Sunday. All that in a town of just over 700 people. Paul Malcolmson is the church's pastor. Yes, he's from Ireland. We'll get to that. The diverse congregation packs all those people into this tiny space. But outside, you'll find broken glass, boarded up storefronts, forgotten buildings. This one collapsed several months ago, and no one bothered to clean it up. Basically, Walt Hill is known for what it doesn't have, not for what it does have. Paul and his family moved here from Ireland more than a decade ago, all because of Pat Phillips. I heard a testimony by a lady from the Omaha Indian Reservation. She outlined uh, the challenges of living on a reservation. I didn't know I would be speaking to 2,000 ministers and their wives. <laughs> she made one statement that rocked me, which was, no one will serve my people. My people haven't heard. I couldn't get that phrase out of my heart for three months. He heard the call, and uh, that's when he came over. When we moved to the reservation, we didn't have a church, we didn't have a congregation, we didn't even have financial support. The only thing that we had was God, a vision, and a lot of love. That was then. Today, they have a very different, very pressing problem. The growing congregation saved up their money and bought most of the vacant buildings and an empty lot across the street to build a new home. You can see this isn't even worth fixing. You'd be going from head to toe to fix it, you know. Mm -hmm. They want to serve their community in very practical ways. When we build this building, we hope to have a, obviously a main sanctuary, but attached to the sanctuary, we'd like to have uh, businesses like a Goodwill, a bookshop, a cafeteria, a laundromat. What we're trying to do is breathe life into this community, both spiritually and economically, and we believe this town can be turned around and be a vibr vibrant community, and we look forward to that happening. We have worked very closely with First Liberty, and that has been invaluable to us in regard to moving forward. We have avoided a lot of icebergs, and I honestly don't know how we would have got to today without the help of First Liberty. Our heart is to work with the politicians and with them see this community turned around. Some people might wonder why would we want to live in this town, but there is nowhere else in the world that I would want to live but in Walt Hill, Nebraska. This is where God wants us and this is where God needs us.